still living right near him, which is his dad. So they sent him to work out, and the guy that has worked him out from day one was there to continue to get him ready for this moment. Shea Gilgis Alexander with a buzzer beater. Favors the miss. Bain, a pull-up three, it's through. And Desmond Bain, who has struggled in first quarters as of late. Averaging almost 11 a game in the month of December. Morant, hesitation move through a crowd. Finds Adams, yes, and the foul. Drives underneath the bucket, top side Dort. Shot clock down to two. Dort, a long three, bricks it, and the rebound to Dylan Brooks. Dylan on a push ahead. Here's Morant against Dort. Misfires on the layup. Oh, good hands, though, by Jaron. Oh, and Jaron with a pass. Dylan on a push ahead. Here's Morant against Dort. Misfires on the layup. Oh, good hands, though, by Jaron. Oh, and Jaron with a pass back. Here's Bain for three. It's Gildish Alexander weaves his way. Shot clock down to five. Continues. He fades. That's blocked, and it's picked up by Steven Adams. And let's go ahead and get to Rob Fisher while Desmond Bain goes on the attack. It's five fast break points. Almost got another two there. Also loves how they're moving the basketball. Four assists on five made field goals so far. And the pass through the hands of Dylan Brooks. Grizzlies turn it over for the first time. Giddy drives oh, it. Take Bain it just takes it away, but lost it out of bounds. But when Baisley has the ball out on the floor, so that Grizzlies force him to make some of these moves going to his right hand, getting to his dominant hand so easily. Robinson Earl with a miss. It definitely cost him because it didn't allow them to keep the rhythm that they had on the on the offensive end. Morant, a steal. Giddy averaging 10 and a half a game, sixth among rookies. Morant taking flight, scooping and scoring his first bucket back. The thing about Morant is. He can get a bucket whenever he wants to get a basket. I think they can just combine what they were doing with what his sound oh, beautiful drop off here to X. And the combination of that is on the offensive end, he makes the game easier for everyone else, but guys still can move without the basketballs. Williams misses that pull up. Killian Tilly checks Look in. Pass. Look at this pass to Tillman. Oh. Sensational shot dropper. Trey Mann out of the game. Lugens Dort is in. Dort steps through and misses. Quickly, Rob Fisher, because Morant has it. <laughs> Grizzly might be on cruise control. Bain against the shot clock for three. Bango. Backdoor cuts, more penetrating basketball, even within their half court sets. Morant through the hands of Adams, and the Thunder looking for their first lead of the game. Screen by Adams. Morant floats. Tries to get his own miss back, but it ends up in the hands of Giddy. Just not playing with the edge that we all became accustomed to seeing. Here's Morant for three. Puts it in. Pulls the chair, forcing Jaron into a walk. Eighth Grizzlies turnover. Giddy an open three. Rebound Morant. And to get there and be able to have an opportunity to attempt a shot. Taylor Jenkins telling the media before the game, he and Morant on the phone a lot. Ja, of course, was watching the game. But again, it becomes a half-court possession. Morant blows by Giddy, but then Dort steals. Three on one, Gilgis Alexander. And you're playing against a defensive team that is a good defensive team. Look it up, if you look up, it has Morant for an easy one. And that gets the crowd involved and pulls the Grizzlies within one. Along with Pokashevsky. Melton around an Adam screen. Morant drives on Dort, scoops and scoops. Among the league leaders in driving field goals made. Morant, a floater. Adams offensive rebound. They haven't lost on the road since they got blown out here by 73. Shot clock down to six. Baisley, a step back three, in and out. Rebound to a loose area, and it's picked up by Moran. Ja, going on the attack, the spin, and Baisley has his fourth block of the game. Come back to earth now for this Thunder team. Regression to the mean can be mean. Moran down the lane, a scoop of score and a foul. Morant with a dozen. Right. 
Morant again attacking, dishing to Tilly. A three. Morant a tap out rebound. Reload by Bain. And Baisley skies in for the rebound. Morant a tap out rebound. Reload by Bain. And Baisley skies in for the rebound. Intercepted by Morant. Pokashevsky covers up. Bain drives, hangs and hits. And Baisley skies in for the rebound. Intercepted by Morant. Pokashevsky covers up. Bain drives, hangs and hits. Grizzlies lead. Covered up by Baisley. Eight to shoot. Morant on the runway to the cup. Bain, no. Rebound Baisley. Morant behind the back, weaving. Sets up Bain for three. Bingo! One of the steps, he steps away from defenders. Nice finish with the left. Thunder have been in six games decided by three or fewer. Morant, yes! And the Grizzlies have the lead. The ball in the hands of John Morant. Down the lane, blocked. Brooks, Jackson, Bain, Morant, and Kyle Anderson. 16.6. Shot clock no longer a factor. Gildas Alexander to steal. Brooks, Jackson, Bain, Moran, and Kyle Anderson. 16.6. Shot clock no longer a factor. Gildas Alexander to steal. They're going to be at, at this, I don't know, at 50 or below 50% in the paint. That is a number that is very, especially for a team that shoots as many shots in the paint as the Grizzlies do. If you are a, a low attempt team and a high three-point team, then it doesn't matter. This is a totally different basketball team than what we saw. Morant and a timeout, but the Grizzlies down four. Down. In a two-point game, Grizzlies need an immediate foul here. Dort fouled by Morant with 1.5. 